Hi. Hi. Oh, ooh. Um, I get really nervous being here. I don't know why. I just want to be really good in front of you people. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Um, also, Catherine said she had stains on her clothing. I also have stains. Um, this is from New Year's, though. Um, I don't like washing my silk, <laughs> so. Uh, okay. When I heard the story, the story, the theme of the month was malls, my mind like just exploded. I love, like I love malls. Like I visit a mall every single day of my life. I don't have much going on. Um, I go like constantly. They know me at every single mall by first name in every store. It's a, it's a big problem. Like when I go to a new country, I, I've had the privilege to travel a lot. Um, the first thing I do is I run to the mall instead of a museum. And I'm like, oh my God, I can learn so much from this culture through the mall. <laughs> so I have problems. Um, one time I called what I thought was my friend and I called her and I go, hey girl. And she goes, oh, hi Natalie. And I go, wait a minute. Did I call a Ritzy at shops at Don Mills? And she goes, yes, you did. I go, wrong friend shit. And they're like, it's okay, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, but the, well, the thing I love most about malls is like, I love new stores and I love checking them out. I like to see what the staff are like, if there'll be good deals. Like All Saints, a new store opened at Yorkdale. I went there the first day and then the next day. <laughs> and then the day after that, they know me already, so it's good. I didn't buy anything, I just, I just look a lot. Um, but Target opened in Toronto, right? Anyone go yet? Some of you went? I thought I was the only, I rushed there the first day. I was like, deals, deals, I gotta get them. So I went to the one at Centerpoint Mall and, um, and uh, this is what happened. I like to go to Target, I love Target because they have a lot of plus size clothing. Their hosiery is fantastic. Um, <laughs> me and my sister are both o overweight, so we love it. And I was there with her and um, we were, sta she was standing on one side of an aisle and I was standing here and like the aisle was right here and she was over here. And she goes, Natalie, you got to check these plus size leggings out. And I was like, yeah. And as I'm walking, I have my head down and I walk and this girl stops in front of me and she's dressed so nicely. She's wearing like a, what I thought was an Aritzia coat. Don't know why that's important. And she had a long chomp bag. Do you know what long chomps are? For those of you who don't, they're nylon tote bags and they're $200 and they really piss me off. And she had it in this raspberry color, which pissed me off even more for some reason. I don't know. I'm crazy. But um, she stops in front of me and she goes, excuse me. And I go, yes. She goes, excuse me. Were you not going to fucking walk around me? And I was like, what? What? She's like, were you not going to walk around me? And I was like, well, I thought I was going to go this way and you would go this way. We're Canadian, right? Like, who cares? She was like, you have to be the rudest person I've ever met. <laughs> and I was really confused. Well, I was really confused, but also I have to tell you, I was drunk. I got drunk the night before. I don't drink often. <laughs> but when I drink and the next day comes around, I get very emotional. I d like, I just like get very overwhelmed by everything. So she stops me and I'm like, I don't know what came over me, but this is what I said to her. I go, excuse me, I'm the rudest person you've ever met. I'm a humanitarian. <laughs> I've won awards for that shit. I'm the nicest, the kindest, the sweetest, the best person you'll ever meet. And she was like, okay, come on. And I was like, you know what? I have nothing better to do, and I'm going to stand here until you walk around me. <laughs> and then she goes... I have nothing better to do. I'm going to wait for you to walk around me. And like I said, I got very overwhelmed. I was starting to like cry, but hold back. You know when you're trying to cry and you're like, don't show, don't show your weakness. Don't show it. And this is what I did. I was like, I hold it back and I go, you're a fucking cunt. And she goes, you're a humanitarian. Humanitarians don't use the word cunt. I was like, what? I didn't know that was a thing, but... I kept on walking and I started walking around her and I was like, you're a loser with your stupid long shot bag. Look at you and your raspberry. Look at you, you're so wealthy. You have it in a weird color. And I was like, you're a loser. And she's like, no, you're a loser. And I was like, no, you're a loser. And I just like burst into tears in front of all this like pantyhose. It was like a disaster. I was just like, ah, ah, ah. 
And I went up to a sales associate and I was like, listen, so I had an altercation. They're like, with a staff? And I was like, no. And they're like, okay, why do I care? <laughs> like, and I was like, but you gotta know, someone really accosted me and I feel very emotional. And they were like, she's like, calm down. But this is the thing. This is what made me really mad. First off, how dare you think you're better than me? <laughs> we're both in Target on opening day. <laughs> we both came here for a fucking deal. We're both white trash, shut up, like come on. Second of all, from my understanding of what a humanitarian is, a humanitarian's job is to rid the world of cunts <laughs> and to point them out. And that's exactly what I was doing that day. I was like, hey girl, hey world, this is a cunt and letting everyone know. So in fact, I now consider myself a humanitarian. <laughs> Anyways, that's my target story. Be careful when you go, there's evil people there. I'm Natalie Norman, thank you so much.